Good afternoon. We're here at the Lucas Family Farm. Today we are going to replace the post sleeve bushings on the Woodland Mills. This is an upgrade they sent to me oh, months ago and I have not been able to get around to it. But According to instructions, this is what we're looking at. We will be using a 13 millimeter wrench, a pair of vice grip, and a can of silicone lubricant. I have to say these things are very snug to get on. So we'll need the silicone lubricant <clears throat> to make this head be able to go up and down. But the replacement upgrade is to replace the old bushings, as you can see, are very loose. Both uppers and the lower. So let me put you up here in the tripod deal. Lighting isn't that great, but I'm sure you'll get the gist of it. I'm going to be doing the top one first. So, in case I drop anything down this tube here, that when I do the bottom one, it will fall out. So, using the 14s millimeter I'm sorry 13 millimeter wrench we'll go ahead and loosen up our bolts here which I probably should have used a socket but the wrench will work just fine that's how it is on the farm so we remove our four bolts and I've seen in previous videos that these bolts don't seem to be long enough for the new bushings, but we'll find out. It looks like we got company from a Hornet. Okay, so they say we raise this up and as you can tell, this is Lucy Goosey. Then we'll take our vice grips, according to instructions as we raise this up here. We should be able to take our vice grips, put them on here. And we should be able to break the old one off. Something. Maybe, possibly. Let's go this way. Let's try it from a corner. See if we can get it to break that way. Good. So it does break from the corner. It's a lot easier than shown in the illustration of breaking it on this side. And 
this comes the old one. Now the new ones are extremely tight. to kind of wiggle them on there one side lower upper side like this push her down and we'll get it as says no spacing in between the bushing and the post now let's see if our bolts are long enough. Yeah, it looks like the bolts will be long enough. Which is great. Even though I did go out and buy longer bolts in case these weren't long enough. Okay, ensuring that they're both seated up tight. here. They seem to stick out a lot farther than the old ones. And they're a lot heftier than the old ones. While you at it, like and subscribe. I could definitely use a subscribe Subscribers helps me out, helps me out here on the farm and my wood milling projects. And it's free. Nothing scary about it. Okay. Tighten down. Quite easy. <clears throat> there is no longer no movement on that. Now, according to the manual here, it says you definitely got to use some silicone silicone spray here which I will definitely soak my post with silicone and my friend is back I don't know what's wrong with hornets so <clears throat> we will Oh, hope I didn't get any on you guys. Okay. That is the upper half. Now I'll raise it up and do the lower half on this side. Or basically we could do the top half on the other side too. So let me move you over here to the other side. I'm getting all crazy on you. Okay, here we are. Other side. 
Right, two bushings, okay, silicone spray, vice grips, and our 13 millimeter. Here we go. First side took about 10 minutes. Let's see how this second side goes. If you go to want to go to longer bolts on these, I would definitely take a bolt with you. They're not just a simple and American thread on these guys. These guys are some uh, strange. metric type thread and I had a hard time trying to match them up at the hardware store and we really didn't have a bolt we came out with big type screws machine type screws all right here we go Go with number two. Just as before, I'm going to break this thing right here at the corner. See if I can get it to break. All right, and there it is, broke. Figure I better go ahead and get this done. I have a lot of uh, milling I have to get done here. Due to the fact of wood prices have gone through the roof. And it is off. Again, front to back. Tight squeeze on. Same thing. Real tight squeeze on. They say ensure there's no gap between the front and the back of the post. Put our bolts back in. And with the bolt just sitting there, that's what you're looking at. It goes in, probably have about three, four turns on them. Some people like to have them a lot longer. I know I'm going to go around and check all my bolts and stuff before I go to start milling up along with the leveling. So, everything is always checked. Okay, tighten this guy. These guys down here. No gap between the front and the back for the post. I assure you, you're not going to have any on the side. 
There's a RE type squeeze going on. Mill's been running me just fine. I think it's been over two years. And I have milled mega amount of wood on this. 126. My neighbor has. Enough to go ahead and reside my house, fill with walk in coolers, build a boathouse. Build two outbuildings. Okay, and that is number two. That was done in about seven minutes. Now let's raise this up to the bottom ones. Let's see how. Freaky it's going to get on those. Seems to run really smooth. I've heard people go ahead and put them in and they can't seem to go ahead and move it afterwards. Silicone spray is the ticket. And that's what they say. Spray the post with silicone spray good. Okay, let's do the bottoms. Take this off here. 